You already know. We got the predator unlocked. So you're gonna get obviously the predator skin after doing your challenges here. The back bling is called Hunter's Trophy. I think it's gonna be a strong back bling to build some story driven combos with like maybe you're a dinosaur hunter or an archaeologist etc that's gonna be really cool the harvesting tool is a legendary rarity and it's a pretty big snooze fest it's weird to see a legendary rarity harvesting tool here the effects are not that great they're pretty boring not gonna lie and you can only use it on the predator skin itself for example you can't use it on anybody but the predator um which is kind of lame other than that, we did get the emoticon, which isn't a big deal. The weapon wrap is reactive. The hunter's arsenal, um, basically that little red here on the wrap is reactive. It's very subtle, but it's a nice little detail here. And then you get a loading screen as well. This is what it looks like. So with that being said, we're going to show you some gameplay. There also is a built-in emote before I forget called the bio helmet online. You can do this in game and take the helmet off. It's kind of creepy, not going to lie. And then you can also put it back on with the same emote here. So yeah, with that being said, let's get sweaty. All right, guys. So the footsteps do sound different. It has its own unique footsteps sound kind of smushy. You hear that? Kind of cool. Um, the harvesting tool running animation is something we've already seen. The swing animation is something we've already seen. And it's a legendary rarity and it's only bound to the predator. Not a big fan. So the weapon wrap is reactive. Pay attention to the little red portions right here. It's very minimal, but it is reactive in that sense. ADS, you might see some red glow from the eyes here. If I put it against something darker, which is kind of cool. It's all right. Now, let me actually change um, the actual helmet here and just make sure that the eyes still glow. This is what it looks like in game, though. Okay. Um, eye glow is gone. So you only have that red laser looking eye glow when you have the actual helmet on, but the helmet is, ugh, I'd like to keep the helmet on personally. That's just me, that's just, that's just nasty. I can't do any emotes, they're all copyrighted. So I'm gonna put the helmet back on because I do like that little red glow. Other than the head, it's not that bulky. It, like, it doesn't feel like a super bulky skin. I've been using it all morning. Um, reactive on other weapons here. Just that red is what you're looking for. It's really cool on the SMG because of the front sight post does glow red as well, check it out. So that's cool. On the sniper, um, unless you're no scope, you're never gonna see how it's reactive. So there's that, and then on an RPG. Kind of hard to tell on the RPG. So we're actually gonna do some gliding here. I am using the tusk glider, just kind of matches the fossil theme. The tusk glider. I'm just curious why the predator needs to wear sandals. You think he's a pretty aggressive character, but he's wearing sandals? Kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. Again, the back bling is really nice. Back bling is great. It's not as bulky as you think. Maybe um, in terms of like how tall it is, but it's not a super wide and bulky looking back bling. I thought it was going to look super bulky. Turns out it's not that bad. And again, we have that red eye glow because the helmet is on here. You know, it, it's not bad. I will say the harvesting tool is probably the weakest part of the entire outfit. Equip and equip. It sounds sharp. It's, you do have like some cool red animation on the tip of it once you equip it. Other than that, um, there's no colored streak. It's just air. Impact here is great. So the impact is like leaving a red slash, but you don't have that red slash when you're actually swinging it. So it's kind of weird. So the impact is unique in the sense that my computer froze. And... It's actually like the streak on the impact here. You don't see that bright impact you usually see. You just see that red streak going across. So that's fairly unique. Hitting opponents here. It just sounds sharp. This is a legendary rarity harvesting tool bound to the predator. I don't think it's worth legendary rarity. Although I didn't have to buy it. I don't think it's that great. I would probably say that the emoticon is better than the harvesting tool. Okay, that's a stretch. That was mean. I don't mean that. But I think it's the weakest part of the entire outfit. The harvesting tool here. Not a fan. I do like the weapon wrap. It's very subtle. Very subtle. But with that being said, let's see some combos on the Predator. Starting with the back bling, what skins can you wear with it? Well, we have some good ones here. Twitch chat and myself picked out some really good ones. And 
This is the way. Looks good on Mandalorian. <laughs> we got Oro here. It might be uh, pretty nice on the gold one as well. I like it more on the Skeleton King, personally. That's what it came with. We have Ragnarok. This is his stage five. Stage five looks great with his shoulder armor right there. We have not the mama, Triceratops. That's probably one of the strongest in terms of a theme we have here. Devourer looks okay as well. Back thing isn't as bulky as you think, guys. Rust Lord. Jaeger looks great. Mantis is his vibe here for sure. Huntress, Battle Pass, but still looks pretty good. Katrina. Big Mouth. Kratos here. It's not going to look that good on the gold, I don't believe. Armored. Uh, it looks better on the original Kratos there, personally. Baba Yaga. Very strong combo here. Very, very strong. Bigfoot in the house. Rio Grande with her hat on as well. And there it is. Feels great. Safari. Hat on. Hat off. Looks pretty good as well. Um, Swamp Stomper. Yes, that looks really good. I'm not sure if it's going to look good on the default. It's it's a stretch. Looks good on the dark style there. That looks really good. Triggerfish, my man. One of my favorite skins. Looks great. Tire Recon. Kind of expected. Swamp Stalker looks really good as well here. The Relay skin. The Jungle Scout. Assault Trooper. Kind of a cop-out, but Twitch chat wanted to favorite it. And then Zadie Jungle Edit Style. That was a good one as well. So what to wear on the Predator. We have... The Elam back bling. The Enduring Cape looks pretty nice. The Exo Spine, kind of a stretch with the blue animation there, but maybe you have a little bit of blue on your weapon wrap. That's what it came with. The Padlock back bling, one of my favorites. The Battle Legend, because they both have six heads. Not four heads, six heads. We have the Hollow Horn. The Darkest Edge back bling is very clean. The Council of Frogs. The Armory bag looks great. Sword of the Daywalker, kind of a cop out. The Mimer, 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 Mimer. You know what I mean? The Loyal Shield looks great with that armor. Rear Guard, kind of a cop-out. Trash Lid, one of my favorite uh, backlings in the game. Barrel and Booty looks great. The Detonator, that red with uh, right there on his helmet looks good with that red there. Kind of a stretch. The Grande Pack. The Buckled Backbling. The Trappy Backbling. Toxic Kitty. Slayer's Saddlebag. Road Ready. And finally, the Rift Rock. And with that being said, guys, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. That is code PIZ0 in the item shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya.